Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Seems like it's been forever since I posted a video. It's only been since last week. But my husband wasn't feeling well, my son, and then I'm not still feeling all that great. But I said I need, I made a bunch of videos over the weekend, but I didn't post any or edit any videos. So I said, let me go ahead today and do it while I have some energy. And um, so here I am. This is just simply a weekly spread in my um, Agenda 52 planner, kind of like a homemade plan I made for myself. I really got inspired by um, Kelly from Print, Pray, Slay. I love her planners. Oh my goodness. I'm like planner crush with hers. So I didn't want a big planner for this year. I wanted kind of to make I wanted to make like an all-in-one. So this is sort of like my all-in-one planner and it's small. I can travel with it. I can still decorate in it and I can still Bible journal in it and do some of those things that I like to do um, as far as Bible journaling or documenting my faith goes. So this is from actually from Print, Play, Pray, and Slay Shop. And this was her, I think her Proverbs 31, Virtuous Woman um, Bible journaling kit that I printed and I put them on um, two to a page because this planner is smaller and I wanted to make sure some of the elements fit. And then I can always use those extra elements in my notebooks and in my traveler notebook as well as my mini garden Bible so nothing goes to waste. So as you can see I'm laying down some paint swipes. I'm just trying to still get into that whole paint swiping with baby wipes because I never get it right and so this is a place for me to practice and just jump out there and just challenge myself to do those things that I'm not good at so that I can get better. If I'm encouraging my son to do those things I need to just follow suit and make sure that I'm an example as well. So here it is. Thank you for watching and remember if I can Bible journal so can you. So this planner is smaller than my normal size uh, faith planner that I had last year, which means there's even less room to write. But you know me, I like to add in an extra journaling card. I can always add in a page to complement the writing in case I run out of space. So that right there is something that I'm still grappling with. Do I really want to lose that kind of spacing and keep adding journaling cards? Do I want to keep it to a minimum? So. I don't know, but that's something that I have to deal with myself. So I'm just adding the elements down. And for those of you who are new to my channel and may maybe not have seen some of my other faith planner videos, I use this for focused thoughts. So if I'm reading a scripture or meditating on a sermon or Bible study or something that I read in a devotional, that's where I will put my focused thought and try to use that as a guide for me for that day to apply his word, to meditate on his word. And just really make it applicable to my life. I really don't understand how people do not believe or think that the Bible is applicable to their lives. I mean, it's not antiquated, even though it's an old book. It's very relevant to today. But men love darkness. And so, but children of light understand the necessity of applying the word of God to our lives every day. So all I'm doing, that's the journaling card that I'm making. And all I'm doing is laying down some elements and I'll be writing my focused thoughts for the week. Thank you for watching. God bless.